right now we're seeing all the goats and we're kind of working our way along this rim. Well, that's our uh, first hunt, me and Jeremy. Antelope, September 5th. It's kind of weird hunting antelope this time of year. Usually we're chasing elk, but we decided to hunt elk from the 19th through the 30th and put in for some unlimited tags in Idaho. And season September 1st through like the 9th, so we're out for three days. Our uh, water hole that we were originally on the last few seasons has dried up, so we had to relocate. I brought in a blind last weekend and found this water hole that we flew earlier on in the season. Just a scout, and uh, we've got goats around us. We were walking in, I seen a giant, like the biggest goat I've ever seen. It's huge, but it's just desolate out here, and then there's just this perfect water hole it's the craziest thing to see it's supposed to be like 102 today so we are in for a real treat here in the oven the temperature is going to be about 450 so we will be well done by the end of this hunt <laughs> We got a single buck. It's right out here. He is uh, about 450 yards, but he's kind of working his way to us. Kind of on the fence. How big he is right now, but he looks decent. Now he's kind of heading to our east. He's, he's going over those rocks to try to drink out of those rocks. That's exactly what he's doing. And then he just realized, oh, it's dry. Because it's been 102 out here. He's looking right through my soul. Now he's circling. He's checking those rocks. to do that. 
that now. It gave me a lot of time. The one thing with this hunt is it's not physically demanding, but it's mentally draining. Like, to sit out here in the heat all day long and sometimes day after day can really uh, frustrate you. Um, we've had days where it's been just dead and the next day like a light switch turns on and they're just coming in just all the time and it's fun, action packed, but it's kind of starting out, starting out a little slow for us. We still got the goats on the far ridge. They haven't really moved all day. Other than that, not much going on. It's hot and typical. We just uh, kind of brushed up the, the blind and closed in what light was peeking through and got our front set up for the cameras and pulled back a few times just to test it out. And as far as setting heights of the window, got it all looking good. So hopefully they get thirsty here in the next few hours and we can get a goat. Now it's 5.52. We just had three does and a small buck come up about 20 yards right on the side of the blind. Just uh, yeah, maybe like a year and a half old buck, pretty small. I want to try to get more of a mature one. At least we know that they will water here. 723. Nothing since that group of four. Oh. I don't know how they don't drink. It's crazy. Oh, it's a little, little past late. <laughs> <laughs> it's been long. <laughs> When you sit in the oven all day, <laughs> your brain cells <laughs> diminish. <laughs> oh, it's a little past eight, and we haven't had anything come in for the last hour and a half. So we're gonna work our way back to the four wheelers. We got about a 30 minute walk. We'll be back in here tomorrow, set the morning, and then if we're not doing any good by 11 or noon. We'll probably relocate. That's day two of our hunt. Um, we woke up a little bit earlier today to try to get in before light out. There was quite a few um, antelope in the area, so we're hoping to slip in there before something actually comes to water. Yesterday was brutally tough sitting there all day in the heat and having so many flies on you just made it pretty miserable. But we're hoping we can get away with one earlier on in the morning. But we got about a 30 minute walk, we're just going to take our time and get in there. I think the biggest problem with antelope hunting 
is you get spoiled and you have days where there's just the antelope everywhere. Then reality is, reality sinks in and psh, there's nothing. And you sit out here and you just bored out of your mind. Hat hair mullet. <laughs> Maybe the hat on backwards. Oh yeah, I'm ready now. Something's gonna die. Well, we got an hour and a half left. And then we're gonna relocate. Garrett would say, there's just not many in here. Pulled back so long. Get ready for a swim, bud. Oh, I pulled back so long. <gasps> Dude. Oh, so epic. <laughs> Thank you for being here, dude. <laughs> you didn't think I was good luck. I told you we were going to get some. He is a gorgeous goat, dude. Oh, my. Oh, my. Look at how big he is laying down there. Dude. Dude. I held so long that I could not see through my peep. I appeared. I was like, I was getting nervous. Because you know how you get that double vision? Oh my god. I thought you were almost about ready to lay down. I, you couldn't lay down. You couldn't even get a shot. He's, I thought you were almost going to take a frontal shot on him when he lifted his head up. Well, I thought about it, but... Dude, he was going to bolt for a second. 
Those big ones like that never do that. <laughs> never run in first. We got He's them got all running all the way in, dude. It's like two does. <laughs> yes, buddy. That was so awesome. Thank you, Lord. Oh, oh man. That definitely paid off to stay in here. Oh. 9.58, we were going to leave at 10 o'clock. Because we, we weren't going to tell you we were staying till. Dude, 11. I think that's the buck we've seen over here. I think it might be. He's, He's huge. Beautiful. Holy. 2020, first tag. <laughs> first, first hunt of the year Stick for us. Fly blind. <clears throat> the grouse blind. Grouse. The grouse hole. Can you believe that? <laughs>